Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is a get ready with me and this is the look I created. I knew I wanted to go in and do something fun and out of the box and something that isn't maybe super wearable, but I don't play with color a lot and I really enjoy going out of my comfort zone to make this look. If you wanna see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. So I already did my brows and primed set my lids and added tape and I'm just gonna go in. I'm gonna use this Morphe 39A Dare to Create palette. So I'm gonna go in with this shade right here and use that as my transition shade. I wish that these Morphe palettes had a mirror, but also the mirror would be really heavy, so. I actually went to a family Christmas today and we had brunch at my aunt's which we do every year and I ate so much breakfast food I was stuffed I made these snickerdoodles yesterday and I took them to the party today and they seem like they're a pretty big hit so I was happy about that now I'm gonna go in to this shade right here put that underneath that first shade I'm just winging this I haven't planned this out super well Probably should have, but honestly, tape, sometimes it just makes things so much better. Now I'm gonna go in with the star of the show and take this color and put it all over my lid. I'm really gonna take my time doing that because it is like a matte. It might be a satin matte, but it looks matte to me. Maybe I should have used a bigger brush, but I really wanted to be able to be precise with this. Maybe I should have used concealer, but oh well, we're here now. Maybe if you wanted to use a setting spray to wet it. And you see, I'm not taking it all the way because I'm just gonna smoke it out. This brush from Olimar Cosmetics is just so perfect for being precise and packing on and like cutting the crease and stuff like that. I just really, really like it. She just released the volume two of the first palette. And honestly, I think I kind of want it. I haven't bought an eyeshadow palette in so long just because I have BoxyCharm and they send me an eyeshadow palette pretty much every box now. I haven't really been needing eyeshadow palettes. I've been trying to, you know, just buy things that I need and that I know I'll use. But that eyeshadow palette is really pretty. It's affordable and everything. So I really like the first Ojitos Eye Trio and I'm just really interested in trying out more. We can go back and pack on more if we need to. But right now I'm satisfied with it. I'm just gonna go back in with this orangey shade and blend out the edges. I didn't really want this to be a cut crease necessarily. Melt Makeup Smoke Sessions palette. I was actually really interested in that because of the greens, and I don't see a lot of brands coming out with green tone palettes, and those were really pretty, but I feel like I just get spoiled with drugstore prices and, you know, like, brands like ColourPop. I'm gonna go back into that first shade and blend it out just a little bit more. It really is the price. Now you can just get high-end quality for drugstore prices, and so it's gonna make high-end brands, like, they need to step it up for me to really want to purchase from them. I'm gonna go into the black in the palette and I'm going to put that in my outer V and just really smoke out this look. There's a lot of palettes that I've been seeing people just raving about, like the Born to Run palette. And it does look like a really nice palette. Brands like BH Cosmetics and ColourPop come out with such similar color stories for such a cheaper price, it's just, it's almost impossible to justify the price on the high-end version, you know? I'm not bringing that very far into the crease, just a little bit. I just wanted to deepen up the look a little bit more. I like the way it's turning out so far. Right now, this doesn't look very Christmassy, but don't worry. Now I'm gonna add some eyeliner. I'm going to try to go in with this Tarte Eye Jewels in the shade white gold. One side looks like chunky glitter and the other side is like that. I think I'm going to try to go in with this side, the not chunky side. I actually really like the consistency of this liner. It's not hard to work with. I think I just want to make the wing even bigger. I have a tendency to think I'm making a big wing and then I'm not when I have tape on for some reason. It's the opposite when I don't have tape on. Something that will not come as a surprise to anyone who knows me personally. I would say in a general sense, especially more in the past, I've always been kind of like more of a Scrooge at Christmas. I always felt like a stressful time 
rather than a time that I look forward to. Sometimes we would have to go to a bunch of different places on actual Christmas day and it would just stress me out. It's supposed to be a time that you spend it with family. I never have been one to like going from house to house, just staying, you know, at an hour at one place, another, an hour at another place, just so you can say, you know, you went to all of them. I get it, you know, all these people do want you to be there because they care about you and everything, but it's stressful. I didn't have to do that this year and I'm really grateful for that. I've become less of a Scrooge, I would say, here lately. I did enjoy decorating my house for Christmas. If you saw my vlog, you saw everything that I did. That, I think, kind of helped me get more in the Christmas spirit. I think we're done with the liner. This is the part that I love, is taking off the tape. You guys see that? I am in love with this look. Anyway, I'm gonna go clean up the fallout and I'm gonna add some lashes and then I'll be right back to finish up the face. So I applied lashes and went ahead and primed my face. I will say that when I put these lashes on, which are the Baddington lashes in Monroe 3D Silk Lashes, it kind of covered up the eyeliner a little bit. So I just took some and then like kind of lined the top a little bit so that you could still see it above the lash line. If you have voluminous lashes that look really good with just mascara, I would say do that just so that you can still see the eyeliner more, but you can still definitely see it popping over here. So I'm gonna go in now with a foundation. I'm gonna use the number seven Stay Perfect foundation in the shade Cool Honey, but this is like way too dark for me. So I'm gonna take some of this LA Girl Pro Coverage White Foundation and I'm gonna mix it together and hopefully get a good shade. Oh, that looks gray. Let me see if mixing this LA Girl Pro Matte Foundation in there with it, and this is the shade Soft Honey, will help put the warmth back in there. And if not, we're just gonna start over. Okay, that's better. It does look a little light. We're just gonna go with it. I don't know if this is a good combination. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's probably not. It's not really sitting super well on my skin. It gives you like a really, really dewy finish. And that's what I remember about it that I didn't love. If you have dry skin, I'm sure that this would be awesome but I'm not dry all over, so I can't say that this is the best for me. But I think once we put on concealer, it's gonna be fine. I'm gonna do a more full coverage concealer because this is hardly giving me any coverage. So I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Medium Honey. The foundation being so cool toned makes the concealer look like it's a yellowish. Thank God for the coverage. Tarte Shape Tape is honestly saving the day. Now I'm gonna go in with this LA Girl Pro Powder in Banana Yellow, and I'm gonna bake with that. Can just get everything out of the way. I need a bigger desk, you guys. It's on my to-do list. I think that we use this edge works really well for baking too. So I'm going to go ahead and pretty much immediately wipe away the bake and spread it to the rest of my face because I really wanna set this foundation. This is looking better. I was a little worried for a moment. Now that we've set everything, I think I wanna go ahead and finish up the eyes. So I am gonna go in back with that first transition shade and just put that underneath the lower lash line. I'm gonna drag it up to the wing just to kind of connect it. I'm gonna take a pencil brush and I'm gonna take this shade right here, the lighter green, and I'm gonna buff that under my lower lash line. I'm really just going in with that color because I want it to show up. Now I'm gonna go in to this metallic shade right here and on a flat liner brush, I'm gonna take the metallic shade and I'm gonna press that up against the lower lash line and hopefully this is gonna really make it pop. If you wanted to just get crazy, you could totally take like a bright green color and push this up on the lower lash line. This is something you have to really take your time with if you want that color to show. I guess you could take your finger and do it as well. Um, I just don't really like using my finger and I have like nails, so it's kind of hard to be precise. I'm just pressing it up against the lower lash line and like more so stamping it than brushing it and blending it. I'm gonna go back into that first transition shade and just lightly buff it out again just so everything blends nice and seamlessly together. I just want everything to look blended and cohesive even though it's red and green. And then I'm just gonna go back and stamp a little bit more wherever if I feel like it needs a little bit more. I'm gonna add mascara now. I'm gonna use the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. 
My lashes are literally so big, I'm having trouble getting to my bottom lashes. Guys, I'm gonna be completely honest. I am surprised at how good this is turning out. So, anyway, don't wanna jinx it. I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. I'm just gonna bronze up my skin with that. My go-to bronzer, you already know, is the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. This used to be my favorite bronzer. I really still like it. It's just a little bit more cool tone, so it almost is like a contour a little bit. I really like it though. I have heard that the new packaging and the full size, you don't get as much product and it's still the same price. Too Faced, why well, be shady like that, you know? I'm gonna take that and kind of contour my nose. I never do this. Okay. Wow, that looks crazy. Did I just get a nose job? I'm just not used to seeing myself like this. I don't know if I like it, to be honest. I definitely won't be doing it a lot, but we're just trying new things in this look. I'm gonna go into the Milani Baked Bronzer in the shade Soleil to put some more warmth into our skin. Tap off that glitter because I don't like glitter on my face. A tiny bit across the nose. For blush, I'm gonna go into this Wander Beauty Wondrous Dusk to Dawn palette. And I'm gonna take Tuscan Sunrise, the lighter. Wow, that's really pretty. For highlight, I'm gonna go in that same palette and use the City Lights highlight. And I'm also gonna take some of that and put it on my brow bone. A little bit on the, my nose. I'm gonna take a flat brush and highlight my brow bone a little bit more and also my inner corner. I always just leave this for last because my inner corner highlight always gets blended away when I'm doing concealer and stuff. I'm gonna take this Milani Stellar Lights palette and take the shade Pearl and highlight my inner corner a little bit more. I just want it to pop a little bit more. Blend out just a little bit. First I'm gonna take this Bodyography Lip Pencil in Heatherberry just to line my lips. It's not my favorite lip pencil, but also it's what I have. This is the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick in the shade Stay Neutral. Oh no, this literally looks like cement on my lips. I'm gonna take the trusty old What's Your Sign Luxe Lipstick from ColourPop because it just never lets me down. This literally just goes with everything. It's so perfect. I'm take the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist and just lock everything in. That is it for today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you recreate this look for some reason, tag me on Instagram. Let me know down below what you'd like to see next on my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed and I will see you in my next video. Bye! I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Better- nope.